This is a guitar instructional video for an instrumental by the great Mance Lipscomb. Mance Lipscomb was a guitar player and singer from Texas. And most of his songs are vocals, but he had a couple instrumentals. And this is one called After Hours. And it's a neat little song. It's not too hard to figure out what he's playing. And it's a good first step into the playing of Mance Lipscomb. This is one of the first tunes that I've learned. And I just figured this out on my own listening to it. So I think I'm pretty, pretty darn close, so I'll show you what I know. The song is in the key of E, and there's not too many chords in the song. He's playing an E. If you listen to Mance's playing, he doesn't play your full E chord, like you guys, if you're used to rock or folk music or anything else. Instead, he plays an E, kind of like this. And what he's doing is he's got his first finger on the third string of the first fret, and then a second finger is getting two strings. It's getting both the 5th and the 4th string at the 2nd fret, and that frees up his other two fingers to do some, some other things. If you're going to play this style, this is something you got to figure out. Lightning Hopkins, Vance Lipscomb, Lipscomb and others play that kind of E chord. Uh, there is a B7th chord that's used. If you don't know a B7th chord, that one's a little could be a little tricky for the beginners. You guys who have played before, no problem. <laughs> He doesn't play the full shape, but he, he plays partial shape and, and does some things out of that. A B7 chord, your first finger is on the first fret of the fourth string. Your second finger is on the B note, which is the second fret of the fifth string. Then your other two fingers, ring fingers, on the second fret of the third string. Pinky's on the second fret of the first string. B7. And those are basically your, your chords that you're going you're gonna to use. Now there's also a kind of an E7 shape, which is very common in the playing of Lightning Hopkins, Man Slipscomb, a lot of guitar players. What I'm doing is taking a D7, which is up here, just sliding down two frets. That becomes an E7. Now, as you play this song, you're going to be using a monotonic bass, the thumping bass, which thumps on one string. He plays most of this on the low E. So throughout the song, you're just going to be hammering on that sucker. Now, you don't want to play it open. That would sound kind of ridiculous. Instead, you're going to use your right hand palm and set it gently on that E string. So that's the monotonic bass. It just takes practice to be able to thump that. And then play a melody at the same time. This is a great song to, to practice that and learn how to play it. The song starts out with a bass run. And you'll hear this bass run two or three, four times throughout the song. Let me play it for you one time and I'll show you what he's doing. A little tricky. I missed one note in there, but that's that's basically it. So I'm playing in it. It's an E, kind of that boogie woogie thing, but it's a little little different. Start with the open E. Then I've got my first finger, which is going to be anchored on the second fret of the fourth string. first phrase is going to the fourth fret of the sixth string and then back up to the second fret of the fifth string. So the whole thing. And then he's going to do that little run there from the third fret to the fourth fret of the sixth string. So like this. The whole thing. Let's start from the beginning. Then he's back to that open E string. So just practice that lick before you really try to go any further. Now I'm playing it using my thumb pick like it's a flat pick. 
that's just something I do. I think Merle Travis used to do that a lot. I listened to some of his music. It just makes it easier. If you're trying to do the finger picking, like using the first finger and the thumb, they often will just get in the way of each other. This isn't a fast song. This is a slow, real easy going tune. So you don't need to use the two fingers. If you want to, fine. But you don't have to. And then when he goes to the A, open A. So it's a similar figure, but it's not the same. So it's open A and then fourth fret of the fourth string. Then fourth fret of the fifth string. Then back to that fourth, second fret of the fourth string. So it's like this. And then you get that little riff, which is my second finger and my or my middle finger and my ring finger going on the third and fourth frets. Back to that. So it's not the same riff. A lot of these boogie woogie things, you'll play the same figure in E, and then when you go to A, you just move everything over. It's not like that. And this is tricky. This took me a while to get used to. Then back to the E. Whoops. Now, when he gets to that point, he's going to lead in He's going to lead in to the, the next part of the song. He's not going to play that bass figure all the way through. He's kind of going to wrap into an E chord. See how I do that? So let me take it from the A. Seven. Hammering down on that third string at the first fret as I place my E chord down. Then I'm hitting an open E and then putting my ring finger down on the third fret of the second string to make an E seventh. And I notice the whole time I'm thumping that bass. So once he gets into that, when he finishes up that boogie woogie thing with that open E, that's when he starts the monotonic bass. And then we go to a B7th, and I'm pretty sure he switches the bass. He could just stay on the E and muffle it. He does that a lot, or you can play the B. So we're in B7, so that's a B note on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, so I can thump that with my, with my ring finger, or my thumb, thumb pick, sorry. So let me play the whole, the whole thing, what he's doing here, he's getting to the, to the 5 chord. So he's thumping, he hits the, the B7. Let's it hang there, and then he's going to go to that E7. So I'm sliding down to the E7, keeping the bass going. Then I just slide that finger back up to the second fret on the third string. And then that E shape, that's my E chord, and I'm hammering on, pulling off, and hitting the open E and B strings. You can hit just the open E, but usually you're going to get both anyway, and to add a little thump to the song, hit them both. So let me do that part of the song again. So, B seventh. Now this is a, a riff 
he uses throughout the song. So it's an E chord, stomping that E. So if I take the bass out, this is what I'm playing. Hammering down on that first fret, third string. Open B. Third fret of the second string, open. Second fret of the third string. So the whole thing, one more time. the main the main verse of the song so let me play it for you all the way through one time whoops let me play that through one time for you of the song, which are some solo verses, and I'll show you how to play those in the next part of this video.